First of all, switch on electric motor, and check its direction. It must be in clockwise direction. Now pull the lever of direction control valve, in forward direction. The cylinder will now start moving forward, pressing the moving head against the plate, by cylinder. When pressure is 3000 psi, on pressure gauge, switch off the motor. Before opening the slurry tank valve, all valve must be open. Now after opening the slurry tank valve, switch on the slurry pump. There are two options available, one is open discharge, and closed discharge. In open type of delivery, there are spigots in each plate, to drain out the slurry liquid. These holes are located, in the bottom of the plates. Slurry will now start filling between the plates, and water start draining from bottom passages. The liquid which is coming from taps, will be collected in gutter. In close type of delivery, Filtrate outlet will be collected from all corner nozzles. In open type of delivery, when we give pressurized air, only air in lead valve, and red spigots should be open. All other valves and blue spigots must be closed. In close type of delivery, when we give pressurized air, only air in lead valve, and its diagonal direction bottom valve should be opened. All other valves, including feed in lead valve, must be closed. There are small holes in each plate, to drain out the slurry liquid. These holes are located in the bottom of the plates. When pressurized air enters from the top end flanges, start pressing the slurry between plates and resulting in the draining of liquid of slurry from bottom passages. When liquid is completely drained by pressurized air, then stop it. Now switch on the motor, and pull the lever of direction control valve, in reverse direction. The cylinder will start moving to its initial position. When the cylinder reaches its final position, switch the motor off. The cake formed during the process gets collected in container below, 